Let's look at some example table creation commands and let's put some of them into practice. Before I showed you my schema file or my schema script file for creating all of my concerts, tables and index objects. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to create some tables in practice and show you how it's done using SQL Plus. Since I have a concert schema and I have tables in there and I already have data in there, I can't go and create the same tables since the same tables already exist. I could drop the tables, but then I lose the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to create a new schema, which is effectively a copy of the concert schema. And we're going to start out with a blank schema. We're going to use what's called the create user command. We're going to creating users at a later stage. At this stage, I'm just going to create the user and show you how we do it. This is part of the concepts schema script or group of scripts. And what this script does is it will drop the user concepts, which I don't want to do. But what I want to do is I want to create a new user. Now, obviously, it can't be called concepts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change concepts to concept. I'm going to take this command and I'm going to copy all these details and I'm going to go and create the concepts user. I am now currently logged in as sys user as sys dba, so I can create users. Let's go back to the script again. I need to grant certain privileges. I'm going to change the name of concepts to concept, and I'm going to grant certain privileges to the concept user, the new user, that allow me to actually create objects in the concept user. So I've created my new user concept. Let's go back to here. Now since I don't want to alter my concepts script, create user script, I'm going to close this file and not save the changes. Now what do I want to do? What I would like to do is once again bring up the schema file and I'm going to create a table. I'm going to create a watered down version of this category table. What I want to do is to go and create a copy of the category table in the concept schema. So I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to paste it into SQL Plus. However, before I do that, I want to remove some of the constraints. So I'm going to remove primary and foreign key. Copy and paste this. I'm going to create the table. Ah, I have an error. This comma. Let's go back to my pasted script and remove the comma. And again, no error. What I would actually like to do is to create all the concerts tables in the concert schema. So I'm going to go and find a copy of the concert schema which I made earlier which includes no constraints whatsoever. That includes both the primary and foreign key referential integrity constraints plus the not null constraints. I'm going to select all and copy all these tables. I'm going to go back to my SQL plus window. Now, since I've already created the category table, I need to drop it because I'm going to recreate it. And I paste the script into SQL plus. Using a view called user tables, an Oracle provided view will allow me to look at all the table names created inside the current user, namely the concept user. That doesn't help much. That's looking at all the details of all the tables. What I really want to look at is select table name from user tables. 
just to verify that I've created all the tables. I have act, category, price, show, supporting act, ticket, and venue. 